In today's video, we're going to use the camera tracker to track text through 3D space. But before that, a quick disclaimer. Unfortunately, the camera tracker is not available in the free version of DaVinci Resolve. It is available only in the studio version. Now with that out of the way, let's jump in. Once you added your video to the timeline, place the playhead at the beginning of the video and move to the Fusion page. In Fusion, click on the empty space, press Shift spacebar on the keyboard and search for Camera Tracker. This is the one we're going to use, select it and click Add. Now press and hold Shift on the keyboard and click on the node and drag it in between Media In and Media Out. Next, in Inspector, in the Track tab, enable Preview Auto Track Locations and Bidirectional Tracking. These will show us the tracking points and also track automatically forward and backward. Now to add more points, go to the minimum feature separation, press and hold shift on the keyboard and click on the value and drag it to the left. The lower the number, the more points you have in the scene. Also increase detection threshold. Again, press and hold shift on the keyboard, click on the value and drag it to the right to increase it. Now next step is to hit auto track and let the tracker do its job. Now let's move to the Solve tab and fix the tracking points because not all tracking points are good or are going to be used by us. So in this case, we have 3,480 points and we're going to decrease this value. To do that, press and hold Shift on the keyboard, go to the minimum track error and decrease the value. Let's say somewhere around 0.1445. And as you can see here in the selected tracks, we have 1,380 points that we're going to delete. So hit delete and then hit solve to solve the rest of the points. Now DaVinci is going to do some math and correct our points. As you can see here in the solve summary, our average solve error is 0.7 pixels. If this value was around one pixel or above one pixel, then we had to select even more points, delete them and then solve again. Your aim is to have zero point some pixels. The lower the number, the better. Now move on to the options tab. And here we enable reprojected locators and patterns so we can see the points better. Now let's move to the export tab, open 3D scene transform and switch from align to unalign. Now, even though we deleted some of the points in the solve tab, we can still delete them manually if we select them and hit delete. So in this case, I want to place my text on this car right here. So I'm going to select this point, press and hold control or command on the keyboard to select multiple points, hit delete, I'm going to select these two, hit delete, let's just scrub through the footage a little bit to see if we get extra points around here, alright, click on these, delete these two, this one right here, and this one right here. Now that the unwanted points are gone, click on the one you need for your text, go to origin and set from selection. Now the origin is set to this point. Switch back from unaligned to aligned and hit export. Now DaVinci auto generates these nodes and the only three that you're going to use are camera 3D, camera tracker and merge 3D. Ground plane and point cloud, we do not need them so we're going to delete them. And we're going to leave camera tracker for the time being because we're going to need it to align our text. All right, connect the new camera tracker to the media out. Let's bring them down a little bit to make more room and go to the toolbar and bring in the 3D text. Connect it to the Merge 3D. Let's type in our text. Let's resize it and go to the transform tab and under translation, we're going to align our text. Let's zoom in a bit, control and scroll up or command and scroll up if you're on a Mac. Let's adjust the position of this text. All right, something like this. Also keep in mind when you're playing with the translation to position your text, only use the X and Y axis. If you use the Z axis, it will mess up your tracking data and you'll have to do this process all over again from start. Let's zoom back out, click on the camera tracker node to see if we placed our text correctly and we did. Now we can delete the old camera tracker. Let me zoom in a little bit just to see it better. 
And if I scrub through the footage, you can see the text stays attached to the car. And that is how it's done. Now, if you want to add another tracking skill to your arsenal, check out this video where I show you how to attach any image to any object and make it look like it's printed on that object. And until next time, take care. Oh,